What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3. You really getting the outdoor truck series racing, and today, ladies and gentlemen, will be the second race of the round of six at the Texas Marsh Speedway, the Jack Mills 350, after a our comeback win at um, Martinsville, which we took the checkered flag late in the race with a handful of laps to go. We're already locked in the championship four at Homestead. Just looking to try to keep guys out of the championship. A quick look at the championship. The round of six here. And it is not that far separation. Justin Haley, Granny and Figure still have a shot in it. Of course, John Hunter, Nemechek, Brett Moffitt with no wins on the season. A big win today by anybody here will lock themselves into Homestead. So let's head out to Texas Motor Speedway for the second race of the round of six. Alright, so here we are at the Texas Motor Speedway for the Jack Metals 350. And Johnny Sawyer locked himself in to the Championship 4 in Homestead with a win in Martinsville. And all we have to do now is just get, try to get, uh, just get our momentum going and stay up in front and contend for the Championship. Now back here in Texas earlier in the year we ended up leading this race and I made a huge mistake coming down the pit road and ended up getting wrecked. I missed pit road bad. So hopefully we have Texas Redemption here in my home state racetrack. We had the best truck here back earlier in the year, just looking to get back to Victor Lane here in Texas. Alright, it's alright. The glare and turn three entry to turn three hurts us. Here we go at the line. Where will we qualify? 15th here in Texas. See where some of these guys are championship contenders. Are going to be at Matt Crafton on the pole. Brett Moffitt, John Hunter, Newcheck, Grant, and Finger all in the top 10. We're going to start 15th. We're under the night race here in Texas. The second race of the round of six, the Jag Metals 350 at the Texas Motor Speedway. Max went off into the rear of the field. Matt Crafton on the pole. Of course, he missed the playoffs. And Johnny Sauter locked in the homestead. And see if he can grab another win or two before homestead. And carried the momentum. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The second race of the round of six is underway here in Texas. We didn't have a very good, a good, we didn't have a very good start to the race there, but I knew we would just be fine. Oh, three wide here. Still 
But no. There goes Brett Moffitt for the race lead. Here comes Saw rolling on the outside. Gregson. I can't tell who's that going for the lead. Is that Grant Infinger going for the lead? It is Grant Infinger. And Brett Moffitt sideways in front of us here. Three guys in front of us, excluding Crafton, battling it out for the championship points coming into this race. Haley and Infinger, guys that had the bad day in Martinsville. Doing what we did here back early in the year, we had a fast truck. Should have won the race in Texas back early in the year, but like I said, made the mistake coming in pit road. <laughs> Hit the inside wall and ended up with a bad finish here in Texas. Of course, it's big for these guys to try to get championship point. Uh, any stage points that they can here. And Grand Infinger, I always see him when I did the NASCAR E2 Let's Play. He had fast truck in te ball Texas races. And here we go, battling him. We're in early going in Texas. New leader Johnny Sauter from 15th to the lead. Two laps to go. It's all about getting that clean air, man. Turn four to see the white flag here in stage one. Pulling away now from Grand Infinger. And the caution comes out, stage over. And we get the big win there. Looks like everybody's gonna come down pit road here. Oh, it looks like John Hunter and Ibichek had, had an issue. Pretty much half the field's gonna pit. And the other's gonna stay out. We're gonna go ahead and stay out. We got really nothing to lose. We got nothing to lose. We're gonna go ahead and stay out. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, to start at stage two. Top ten guys got points that they needed. Here we go, green flag is in the air. Salter, Infinger, Haley, and Ben Rhodes. The top four is the green flag is back in the air here in Texas. This is a very short stage. These guys behind us are fighting for all those play stage points, playoff points. And all we care about is the checkered flag. We got nothing to lose, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go for broke. The accident happened here in turn one. <coughs> it's 
set on cruise control here in Texas for Johnny Sauter. We have a one and a half second lead on Justin Haley right now. So right now we're we have the best truck right now, at least right now anyways. I know stage three everything changes. <coughs> I believe Ben Rhodes or Justin Haley won this one here in Texas early in the year. After I made that huge mistake with a few laps to go coming up pit road. I turned down pit road too early, slid, hit the inside wall, damaged the truck. And um So that ended our day in Texas back in the spring pretty much. Had a bad finish and just trying to get back to the championship contention. You see Grand Infinger top five myself. Haley, Gregson, and Finger, and Brett Moff at the top five here in Texas coming to the last lap here in stage number two. And we are just cruising here in Texas. Stage one ended under caution. Will we see a whole run stage here? And then three and four for the final time. We're just riding. We're gonna make this trick a little bit freer, not too much. And I'll turn four. Giant started to sweep stage one. He will sweep stage two here in Texas. <coughs> well, ben Rhodes moves up to fifth. That will knock Brett Moffitt down with 21 laps to go. Probably restart with 18 or 19 to go. Pit stops will be big. And we're looking at like five laps short of fuel. Three to four laps short on fuel. But we'll see what ends up happening as the caution flag is out for the end of stage number two here at the Texas Motor Speedway. Johnny Sawyer has dominated this race since taking the lead late in the going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Work matters the most. Will we get Texas Redemption? Or will Third, one of these guys have sh that are in the playoff contention get up front and challenge Sauter? Green flag is in the air. 18 laps to go here in Texas. with the runs seventeen to go here in Texas and we're already pulling away we're like half a second lead already About a little over two laps short. Yeah, we're two and a half laps short. Started at 15, we have worked our way to the front very, very quickly. Yeah, we have a fast truck. We're two seconds ahead of Todd Gillen. 14 laps to go. Yeah, these guys are going to need a lot more.
We have a commanding lead here in Texas. We're just pulling away from the field. 12 to go, nearly three seconds ahead of the field. Well, this little adjustment to make our truck a little bit looser did pay off. The car just is on rails, man. Took us about what? The first stage was eight laps. It took us about the five or six laps for us to get to the front. Get around Grand and Finger, and then we just have checked out ever since. Only time they've been close to us is at the end of these stages for the restart. Other than that, nobody has done anything with this all race long. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ten laps to go here at Texas in the truck series. solder on that white line by the looks of it we may be a lap short on fuel Second lead. Oh yeah, we're we're still about half a. we we actually save fuel right in the bottom of the racetrack. With the car or truck just handling so well, I'm taking the shortest way around, saving as much fuel as possible. Seven to go. Trying to save a little bit just in case. Yeah, we don't want these guys to get too close to us here. Trucks down pit road. Ben Rhodes closing. Of course, Ben Rhodes trying for the championship. Three to go here in Texas. Got one down low now, got one down low inside. 
No damage repair. We slid down, coming down payload, trying to get everything we can. A couple more turns. Two more. Two to go. Somebody's standing out on the racetrack here. Can people try to steal it? Our goal is to beat the 41 off pit road. We're going to beat the 41 off pit road. Oh, the caution flag waves here in Texas. John Hunter and even check out in front. Right before they take the white flag and wow, points are really getting changed here. In finger back to 18th. Brett Moffitt. Justin Haley. Wow. Big guy guys that are contending for the championship. John Hunter and even check. And that's it as far as Ben Rhodes. Ben Rhodes got lucky to come down pit road with the, with the race leader. So what a good call by us to come down pit road. Oh yeah, somebody wrecked hard in turn three. All right, here we are, NASCAR overtime. John didn't even check the race leader. Can he punch his ticket to Homestead? We're gonna find out here. Or will Johnny Sauter take it? Here at the restart, green flag is out. Green underway with two to go. Can Hunter, John Hunter, you should get back. Remember what happened in Canada. Sauter drove it by him on the front, next to the last corner for the win in Canada. We didn't take tires when we pitted. We were all about fuel. Sauter, Hunter, you check with fuel. Here we go. White flag is out. It is an official race. Um, truck's gonna push. Oh my goodness, I pushed because I had my tires are just gone and on this truck. Yeah, the tires are just gone. All turn four, John Hunter Nemechek will punch his ticket to Homestead as we just get out tired here in Texas. Man, dominant truck all race long. But we were not expecting the caution flag to drop. And we were rolling, man. And we had another fast truck here in Texas. We get bit by a late race caution. This time, not what we're doing, but the truck was just so tight. Could not get it turning in one and two. And John Hunter and even check got around me. We win stage one. We win stage two. Well, have look, we just truck would not turn. And John Hunter even check goes right around me. And just a tough break as John Hunter even check punches his ticket to Homestead. After we dominated every part of this race, John Henry check locks himself in. John Henry check in. Ben Rhodes eight points out. Justin Haley on the bubble. Brett Moffitt, Grand Name Figure ten and eleven points out. After this race, man, fast truck. We set the fastest lap of the race at thirty eighty one. We had the best truck out here. We let 30 laps, we had another strong truck here in Texas and just didn't get the job done. Timothy Peters, 30 at the 5th, great run for Timothy Peters. Good day for him. My son, 8th, the 21st, not, not a good day for him.
tough break in Texas. But up next is Phoenix. And then it's the championship four. And I'm so J J Hunter Nemechek gets his first win of the season. And it's the big win that we talked about coming into this race. Win and you get in the homestead. So there's the championship standings. One race left. The Lucas Oil 150 at Phoenix. Also check out the Xfinity Series and the Cup races. That will happen at Texas Moment soon. Coming soon. Then we get ready for Phoenix in all three series. And then we head out to the Homestead Miami Speedway for the championship week for championship weekend. Who will be crowned NASCAR champions? But we'll see what happens. But we'll see what happens then. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the race. Drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Hot and evolution. I'll see you guys for the Truck Series at Phoenix. Until then, love you guys, and I'll see you guys later.